seven, a uh, question on capacitance. Uh, standard sort of capacitor circuit, uh, a 2,200 microfarad capacitor, 12 volt supply, 480 kilo ohm series resistor with a voltmeter across it. Switch S is closed, calculate the initial charging current. Uh, classic area for people to make mistakes here because they're like, well, how do I know what the initial charging current is? I don't know, I don't know anything about this circuit, uh, but you actually know plenty about the circuit. You know what the supply voltage is? It's 12 volts. You also know what the resistance is, 480 kilo ohms, and you know the capacitance, 2,200 microfarads. The most common mistake is because you see initial charging current, you're thinking about the, the graph of current against time. That's what it looks like when it's charging. So it's at a maximum um, just as that switch is closed. What most people think is switch is closed, okay, it's fully charged, the current is zero. That's, that's, that's wrong because it says initial charging current. So what it means is this current here, that maximum value, of current. Now at the point where the switch is closed, there's no charge um, across across this capacitor. There's no current flowing in the capacitor, so you're not even considering the capacitor at this point in time. All the current is, a, is, is coming through the resistor here. All the current is in the resistor at that point in time. So I is going to be equal to your supply voltage divided by your total resistance. There's only one resistor here, so you've only got one resistor to consider. So it's going to be 12 divided by 480, remember it's kilo ohms. And that will give you 2 times 10 to the negative 5 amps. Anytime it says the switch is closed, what is the, the charge or what is the current initially, you know, that's when you're looking at this point in the graph for the current or at this point, this point here on the graph for voltage. Just because it's closed, it doesn't doesn't mean that it's fully charged up, that the current is zero. It's, it's looking for the moment immediately after the switch is closed. Okay, B. At one instant during the charging process, the potential difference across the resistor, notice that is in bold, is 3.8 volts. Calculate the charge stored in the capacitor at this instant. So first of all, what you need to do is to calculate what the voltage across the capacitor is. Now the voltage across the capacitor is going to be equal to the supply voltage minus what the voltage across the resistor is. Because remember, the, the voltage is always shared out across the, the capacitor and the resistor, and that will always add up to whatever the supply voltage is. So that's going to be 12 minus 3.8, so you're going to get 8.2. That's your first calculation. Now that's, you're going to get one mark just for that. 8.2 volts across the capacitor. You can now calculate what uh, the charge is by using Q equals CV. You know what the capacitance is, it's 2,200 microfarads, so times 10 to the negative 6, multiplied by the voltage, which is 8.2. Remember, you can be asked to calculate what the charge is at any point throughout the charging process, so you've got to look at what the voltage actually is across the capacitor at that point in time, because that's going to determine how much energy there is as well. Um, that would give you 0.018 coulombs. So three marks just for a, a relatively simple calculation there. C, calculate the maximum energy the capacitor stores in this circuit. So energy is really a measure of how much charge it's holding, um, how much voltage it has across it. So when the, the energy is at maximum, that's going to be when it's fully, fully charged, basically. So for part C, what you're looking at is one of the energy equations. I would use a half CV squared. Because, and then even if you've got these questions incorrect, well, I suppose they're not really of any use to you, but I would always just use, as a, as a general rule, the equation that, that has the values in it that, that you haven't had to, to calculate yourself. Use the values that are given in the question. So you've got 12 volts there, and you've got 2,200 microfarads in there. So even if you couldn't answer part A and B, you should have been able to do C because your, your information is there. And maximum energy in a capacitor, you know, it's when, it, when it's fully charged. So a half times 2,200 times 10 to the negative 6 times 12 squared. Just remember the squared there, it's easy to forget, is 0.16 joules. It's J 
generally going to be a very, very small amount of the energy. So when you get that that value out there, don't think, oh, that's awful small, because it, it is going to be small. Remember, this is a this is a tiny little um, electrical component. It's not going to store huge amounts of energy in it. Some capacitors do, massive ones, you know, really, really big industrial sized capacitors will store a lot of energy, but the kind that you're likely to deal with in circuits such as this are going to have small amounts of energy in them.